we'd spot check things and all that kind of stuff. Even on that, it wasn't the quality, you know, it wasn't spot checking to make sure because I wanted to control that I made sure that there was never anything bad that happened. Okay, you can't do that. Hey, 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 Plumbing Pros, welcome to the 384th episode of Potty Talk, and I've been looking forward to this one. Of course, mm -hmm. I say that all the time, but I'm looking forward <laughs> to every one, but these, these are such important things, and mm -hmm. so today we're going to discuss, yes. in fact, the title of today's episode is How You Are Sabotaging Your Plumbing Business and May Not Even Know It. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So you're sabotaging your plumbing business, mm -hmm. and you may not even know it. Right. You're just okay. kind of oblivious to it, That's so right. we're going to... Slap them upside the head and get <laughs> right. them to see it, right? right? But before we get there, guys, make sure you go out and give us a review. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching on YouTube. All the things. We'd love to have you follow. Do it. Mm -hmm. so, Do it, all right. please. So how, right. how are we sabotaging our plumbing business? Okay. Now, we don't... We don't intentionally mean to do these things okay but we, we do carry things you know you know with us and as we start our plumbing business you know we do carry these things with us okay okay and and so we see this all all the time that, that you know the guys are, are doing these kinds of things and look and i i did it too i mean right. when i mentioned these things you're probably gonna go oh you're talking okay i saw when you did you did that okay <laughs> i i made all the all these mistakes mm. okay but you, you got to let go of these things, okay. okay? In fact, you know, one of the, the first thing is the past. And so the, the first thing you need to do is let go of the past. Okay. Like let what? it go. You know, let it go. <laughs> be like Frozen. Right. Be like Frozen. <laughs> you know, it's that, um, you know, we, again, we, we bring to uh, these preconceived ideas or these conditionings, you know. We, we, and now on that, we've been conditioned a certain way. Look, if, if we're, we're plumbers, okay? Um, and... We've been conditioned a certain way as blue collar workers, okay, mm -hmm. um, to think about money and about ourselves and our place in the world and what's fair and what's not fair. You know, we heard them talk about all, you know, you know, use that term before, you know, well, that's just not fair. I, I don't want to charge what those big companies are charging because that's they're just rip, ripping, people. ripping people off. Oh, so we, we have, we <laughs> have these preconceived ideas from the past mm -hmm. and we've got to let go of those those, you know, preconceived ideas. Okay. Okay. So I'm not, not talking about letting go of, of your, your, your morals. Okay. Of or your ethics. Not. Right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm right. not saying that I'm talking about, you know, questioning yourself and being open-minded to, well, you know, is this, uh, um, well, debt, you know, an example of debt, you know, um, you know, like we just can't be, can't be in debt. Okay. Um, that's not true in, in business. I right. mean, all business, you need, need debt to grow. Okay. Mm -hmm. The right kind of debt. Right. Okay. Unless uh, you've got some sugar daddy on the side or you, right. you know, have some big inheritance that you got and that's, and you started your plumbing business that way. If, if that's the case, I'd love to meet you. Yeah. We've right. not met one yet and we've met thousands of plumbing business owners, but. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we just kind of use the example of, uh, you know, I don't want to rip people off. I'm not going to charge that much or whatever. You know, because anything over a hundred bucks is ripping people off. You know, hundred bucks an hour. Hundred bucks an hour. Right. right. You know, it's like uh, you got You got If you're charging less than hundred, if, well, if you're charging less than two hundred fifty dollars an hour, you're a dead man plumbing. But yeah. if you're charging a hundred bucks or under a hundred bucks, wrap it up. E either that or or get some help so you can determine what your true hourly rate should be. Right. No, it, trust me, it is not a hundred dollars. Right. No matter certainly where, no matter where you're at in the U.S. or Canada, uh, I know it can be a little different than some of the other. English speaking countries or mm -hmm. whatever. I know for a fact in U S and Canada, if you're charging anything less and you touched on it in two fit, you know, 250 bucks an hour, mm -hmm. you're, you're a dead man plumbing. Dead man plumbing. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. But you want to want to know why you're charging that. Okay. Exactly. So it's letting go of those, you know, preconceived ideas mm -hmm. and, you know, question yourself. Okay. Or of, of why, um, like you said, um, you were know, blue collar workers, right? And so, um, People and we know this. We can say this. We're, we're had a plumbing business. You were a plumber. Yep. People tend to look down on plumbers, right? Um, but when they need one, right? How important right. are we then? Very important. Um, that's one reason too um, to call that we want to call the trade up, right? Not be a hack out there, right? Not be the the guy who shows up with the the plumbing truck with the you know the toilet painted on the side of the driver's dash the oh button, my gosh right. if that's you please stop please for the love of yeah. god stop you are you are killing so it looks like the you're reputation sitting, your window it looks like you're sitting on a toilet looks like you're sitting on a toilet right, right. i'm sorry yeah um which you're you're literally killing the plumbing industry that's what you're doing you're saying we're all just a bunch of hacks and, we're well, all just a bunch of butt crack plumbers that you know 
you can lowball us and and whatever and and you know make us come down in price and make us break every price out and right, right stop it stop it stop it um so uh, letting go of that letting go that you think that oh well I'm I'm just a plumber or I'm just a small plumbing shop right stop that no do you think about what you want to be right about the business that that you want and and build your build your business and your systems and all that around that right on right mm -hmm. on you know, so letting go of the past, the past, you know, what you're carrying with you is, is sabotaging you. Yes. Okay. Because it comes head trash. All right. Mm -hmm. Next. And th this is a big issue too. You mm -hmm. see this control, <laughs> let go of control. You're, you wanting to control everything is sabotaging your growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. At best. Okay. Um, at its worst, you're, you're literally killing your, your plumbing business. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. By trying to control everything mm -hmm. by, you know, making sure that the guys do everything exactly the way you do it. Right. Okay. Um, or on, an, on, on the other hand, not hiring anybody because you can't find anybody that's as good as you. Right. Right. Every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumbline. Plumbline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. You're not going to find anybody as good as you. Right. You're just not. Or afraid I'll get, they'll get bad reviews or I'll get, it could be poor quality or whatever. Right. That's I'm trying to control everything. Mm -hmm. um, parts is another place. You know, I'm trying to control that I know exactly how many parts I have and how many half-inch copper 90s and all this and iguana and all that, all that kind of control. I'm not saying you don't want to be aware of that stuff of and work towards it, but that control is, is you're holding on so tightly. I mean, if you see me on those that aren't, you know, on video, can see, you know, there's that thing of holding on, you know, it's holding on so tight. That's what control is, all right? And that that is holding you back, yeah. okay, at best, okay? Mm -hmm. At its worst, mm -hmm. it's really sabotaging your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. So you need, to, you need to let go, you know, just open up a little bit, okay? Well, let go of feeling like you got to be in control of everything. Right. When you talk about parts, it's also, you know, well, um, I'm going to just make sure that I get the lowest price right. from my, my parts house, right? Well, okay, part of it, yeah, you do want to make sure that you're being cost effective, of course, with your parts and getting the best materials at, at a, a good price. But if you've got a... Um, a, a parts vendor that's working with you and maybe delivers things to your shop or whatever, you know, pay a little bit more. Don't, don't be nickel and dime them for every little thing. Again, that's, that's you uh, wanting too much control. Now that also doesn't mean that, you know, okay, well, I'll just let somebody charge me some outrageous amount and I'm never going to pay attention to other price. Of course not. Right. But if you've got a working relationship, a good working relationship with your parts vendor, don't be nickel and diamond them so much or being on, on top of every single little receipt that comes in. Ooh, why did, why did the plumber get two of these and he only needed one short of it, you know, maybe being a, a water heater or right. something <laughs> and that might be an issue, but yeah, letting, letting go of, of those types of things of, of control. Right. What is, hold on. What is that noise? You hear that? Yeah. We, we got a sound here in the studio. Like there's work being done Something. Sorry. on I'm our like, house here, but <laughs> I don't recall. Did you call him? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Or it's, you uh, might be hearing some knocking. A loud room. rodent or something. I don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. Our okay. snakes here. <laughs> so, and, so this whole, you know, the whole thing of control, you know, and you can't control everything though, though we try. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that you don't, um, you know, non-negotiables. I'll just mm -hmm. get to the point here. Mm -hmm. You know, I had, you know, three to five things that would I call non-negotiables. -nego okay. That I controlled. Mm -hmm. I made sure that every job we provided three options. Mm -hmm. And if that, if that, if that broke anywhere in there, I was right on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It had, had to be that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I made sure that, they're, that they, you know, the, the plumbers clean and stocked their trucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, made sure that they made good job, took good job notes and pictures of the job. Eventually, okay. when we right. had that, so ability. I controlled that mm -hmm. so much so that you know, for example, even years after I wasn't even doing the meetings with them, with the guys or whatever, the word you know, but I still would walk the the parking lot to look at the trucks and the word would go out. Richard's walking. Richard's walking. You know, so because they knew I would be on, I was controlling that, okay, mm -hmm. and on that to make sure that happens. But I didn't control how the guys did the job, mm -hmm. you know, how, how they, 
how they, how they worked and, and did they run the water lines a certain way? I wanted neat, clean work. And if work came back, you know, and we'd spot check things and all that kind of stuff. Even on that, it wasn't the quality, you know, it wasn't spot checking to make sure, because I wanted to control that I made sure that there was never anything bad that happened. Okay. You can't do that. All right. Make yourself crazy. Make yourself crazy. And what happens is you start focusing on things that don't make you money. Mm -hmm. Controlling the stock doesn't make you money. Well, you say, well, it loses me money. Oh. Doesn't make I, you money. You know, I never kept track of, you know, in our supply house, you know, in our shop or whatever, all the stock. And did guys ever maybe use a, a you know, a fluid master personally? Maybe. Now, one time, it, it, I didn't, you don't notice the cost. I didn't, never, you don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I think the biggest thing, I think in all the years, I, I think someone walked off with a tankless this. water heater. Because <laughs> that's a big one. I mean, I know that that stands yeah. out. But, so, well, man, see, I, you lost that, you know, at the time that, that you know, unit cost, you know, seventeen hundred, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars, you know, Navian, whatever. Um, you know, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars. Well, that's a lot of money. No, I made I made hundreds of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. because I didn't focus on making sure the guys didn't steal from me. Hundreds of thousands? Yes. I would say Well, millions. But okay. I'm saying I mean tankless water heaters. Oh, I, mean, of, I see what you're saying. Right. Okay. I mean yep. uh, doing doing that. Mm -hmm. So so I lost seventeen hundred. Right. But you, no. you didn't spend your whole time being um, being an angst about where the parts right. are and, and you know what's missing or where's things going. No, you just, it'll make yourself crazy. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's letting go of that control, mm -hmm. okay? Control what you can control. Right. There's a lot of things you can't control, um, but then control the things that, that you can control that are, are going to make you money, right? right. And not going to um, kind of time zap you from doing the things that are important, taking care of, of Mrs. Jones, making sure you have processes and systems in place that takes care of your customer well. Um, those are the things that make you money. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, we're so glad you're here. I'm glad you're spending this time with us. And I, I'm, and if, if you're finding this uh, information helpful, please share it. Okay. Please do. Please go out on social media and share this thing that's, everywhere. That's right. The whole world. All right. Be kind, <laughs> rewind. No, that doesn't work that <laughs> no, way. No, it does. Okay. Be kind and rewind. That was right. an old blockbuster. That's right. Oh, hey, but for being here, I do have something for you. All right? So take a look at this. Check it out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right, we're back here, and we're talking about how you are sabotaging your plumbing business and may not even know it. Mm. Okay, we're doing these things. You know, we start out, number one, you know, let go of the past. Mm -hmm. You know, we're holding on to the past mm -hmm. and our, 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 you know, our, 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 um, our way we've been, our, our preconceptions. Uh, yeah, preconceived okay, ideas. Right, mm -hmm. okay. So it's let, letting go of those things and, and kind of how we look at things. Okay, let go of the past. Be open, okay. Next, let go of control. Mm -hmm. All right, this idea we're trying to control everything. You can't control everything. All right, so don't stop it. All right. <laughs> Stop doing All right. It. And mm -hmm. just, you know, have a, you know, you know, have some, a couple, you know, three to five non-negotiables that, that you do control mm -hmm. that, that, that really work towards, you know, serving Mrs. Jones. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And focus on those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And then finally, and th this is a toughie. Okay. The others can, you can kind of happen here, but, but this is tough. And okay. to this day, I still, I still struggle with this. <laughs> okay. Let go of taking it personally. Mm. Okay. Stop. Taking it personally. What's the line from The Godfather? All right. It's not personal. It's business. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is hard. <laughs> Which they knew that was hard, hard too. It's, you know, it, it's, affecting, it's affecting your family and th these kinds of things, you know, when, when um, someone rips you off. Okay. Purposely. I, right. Steals from your plumbing business. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bad review. Look, if you're doing anything, and certainly if you're serving a lot, you are going to get a bad review. You are going to get bad reviews. Because there's a bad people. Mm -hmm. Or you do, you know, you may mess up, okay? After so many times, you do mess up, and then that person does not, even though you've been over backwards to make it right and all that, they're mm -hmm. still going to go out and do their thing, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, it happens, all right? Mm -hmm. But you can't take it personally, right? all right? Or, or you live in it. You never, you'll always live in that angst. 
and in that, you know, th- those kinds of upset feelings. Frustrated. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, you can't take it personal. Um, reviews are, are a big one, right? You, uh, people tend to, and we did it. Yeah. Um, you may have 100 reviews, right? And 98 of them are five star and they love you. They just love, love, love. They love your service. They love the experience. They love the plumber that was sent out, the friendly gal on the phone, all the things. And then you have two reviews where you suck. You just, you suck so bad that no one sucks more than you. And what reviews do we pay attention to? The ones that suck. Those two, right? Because it, you, we end up taking it personally. Um, and you're just, you're not going to make everybody happy. It's impossible. And if you are trying to make everybody happy, you're never going to be happy. Right. That's for sure. Um, so taking it personal. And then even, you know, if a plumber leaves your shop, right, Descent, decides you, you are a big fat jerk for whatever reason, right. and he leaves, it, you can't you can't take it personal. This, this is business. It business is business, and yeah, there are. It, it's difficult to not. Um, how do I, you want to reflect on it, right? You want to th- those two reviews. You want to take a look right. and say, did, okay, did we do something? Did we do something wrong? What, where in our system did something break down? And then if it did, then you do your best to fix it, right? Right. Uh, but for the most part, especially when it comes to reviews or a plumber leaving in a bad way. Um, more than likely, it's it's on them and not you, right? Um, and and not taking it personal. And all the years, every time I took it personal, it never got any better. <laughs> it <laughs> never. A true statement. In fact, it usually got worse. You know, with cops <laughs> showing up or or me being sued for something or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of a thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so it it never taking it personally, and that that's not just on the side that's you know that that kind of hurts. The, or the other side of living in this this pain of just why. Why'd they do this to me? Or wow, how can I get away with and that? And then I'm going to, here's you know, what, I'm what I'm going to do. do. I'm going to go out and blast them. Or from a review standpoint, oh yeah, well, I'm going to go out and write a big long novel about what they actually did and what they actually said and right. and all that to make sure that my point of view gets across in my whatever, right? In fact, that's the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes we see on responding to reviews. Yeah. You, get, you get a one star review from someone that's just is foaming at the mouth. And that's usually what it sounds like, by the way. They go on about how this plumbing company came out and, and they kicked my dog and they, <laughs> you know, they, they, smacked, my they, they smacked my child and they blew my house <laughs> up. And then they gave me a million dollar bill for doing that. You know, whatever it's that. So they sound, that's what that sounds like. To most people. To, to most people. So we feel, oh, well, that's not what happened. We do, you know, so we want to come back and, and say, dog. hey, when I talked to you, you said this and that, and we get, and you, know, you lied and all that, and you come back spitting at the mouth too. That mm-hmm. just makes it look like people are looking like we got two crazy people here. Right. And the sad part is other customers that we are checking this out, if you were to just respond just professionally, like, sorry, we, we weren't able to take care of sorry you. Sorry that the, we weren't able to meet your needs. Right. Um, Looks like we, we did come out and, and, you know, take care of your water heater, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, sorry that, that um, we, we hope you find a plumbing company that's a good fit for you. Right. Yeah, right. right. Leave it at that. Move yeah. on. That, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. People just see the one person, you know, well, they must be crazy because that, mm-hmm. profe- that, that response was like so. Out of, out of the norm. Right. Especially if you've got a, if you've got a whole bunch of other great reviews. Right. right? Um, so if you've got, if, if you've got a ton of really bad reviews, then you've got a problem in your plumbing business. Um, you've got a problem and it, it's more than if you've, again, if you've got more negative reviews than, than positive, you've got a breakdown got a somewhere in your system. You've got a, you've got a problem with the plumbers that you have, whatever it might be. Um, so that, that's a, a totally different issue, but if you, but we've, I, how many times have you seen that? No, I, I don't, I, I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen that. No, I don't think so. So, um, the people, the customers um, that are future customers that are reading that kind of crazy review and then how you respond, and they're looking at all the other reviews. If you get tons of five-star reviews and you know people are mentioning the technicians by name and what a great job and they showed up friendly and all the things, right? They're, they're going to discount those. And those you got one, they came out and kicked our dog and did this and that, and they charged us a million dollars, which is what that sound, all that sound, that's what mm-hmm. that sounds like. They'll discount it. Right. It's like, well, on. this okay. must have been a bad, you know. Right. Probably that person was weird. That's right. what so, we're really thinking. That's right. what people think. So letting go of right. taking, especially reviews, personally, especially, um, but also again, a plumber that might happen to leave or or whatever, um, not not taking that personally. Again, it may be a moment of, of okay, why did he leave? Did we have a breakdown somewhere? Did we have a breakdown in our system where we weren't clear with our expectations, or we weren't um, clear with with how we pay, or, or whatever it might be, right? And if 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 that's not the case, well, then it just it wasn't a good fit. Move on. Right. It's not taking it personally. Mm-hmm. And a part of that, it goes a little deeper as we get even your, uh, 
we mature through this process or whatever of even just stepping, it's, it's stepping back emotionally. You know, when we start and we, we see this, we start our plumbing businesses. I mean, we're all about it. We're the best quality. I'm going to build the best team. Which is typically why we put our name on right, the plumbing business. Right. And all that, because we're proud of all that. And all that emotion, our whole identity is in this plumbing business. Okay. And quite frankly, that's not what, you know, we're, we're, we're about here at Million Dollar Plumber, which is, you know, and of course it's potty talk or whatever. It's about creating this asset, you know, opportunity we have before you to, to create this very profitable asset that creates true wealth for you and your family. Right. And part of that is not only just financially, but time. Okay. So we're not putting all of our motion into this, into this plumbing business, though it does need that, that, you know, it's like when the, you know, it's like, I, I guess it's why mothers, after they give birth, they have that connection and they love the child because uh -huh. birth was like so painful and all that. <laughs> they would never do it again, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> if it wasn't for that love of that, you know, the, the child. Right. Well, when you're trying to build this plumbing business, it's so painful. Mm -hmm. So it does take that emotion to kind of push it through. Mm -hmm. But we want to step back out of, step out, out of that emotion. Mm -hmm. You know, that's if I could work, when I work with the guys, it's like, don't put the emotion in that into your plumbing business. Right. I mean, it's being able to step out because you will, as you get bigger, weird things are going to happen. You, you, you're going to get sued <laughs> and you can't come unglued. You will get sued. Okay. If, you, if you're around for any amount of time and it'd be no fault of your own, <laughs> you will get sued. Well, that a lot of times just freaks people out. And this is so unfair and all that. I mean, you just, and you got weeks and months or whatever. And, and the angst of that. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these things, you just, you got to go through it. You go through a bad, um, you know, we see it with, with vendors and, you know, when things are happening, the marketing, you know, vendor doesn't quite work out and get things happen. Well, I think they're, they're out to get me, mm -hmm. you know, and all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And we carry all this emotion and we live that through this transition and, you know, the pain and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We've got it. You know, and I'm speaking, I'm speaking to me. Okay. I mean, I'm out, as you know, I'm, I was, I'm a hothead. You know, I've got it under control more these days, all right? Or in a young, younger man and working, I was a hothead, and I lived in that, that angst and that, ah, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I'm going to take on the world. Right. Don't, and, don't come against me or don't be in right, mine. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. And it never, that doesn't mean I was a pushover. You know, I'm not saying to be a pushover. Even to, you know, Don't be a pushover, mm -hmm. all right? And it's not, I mean, you don't care. But I'm talking that emotion. I'm trying to, you know of the guys that, you know, we work with and I see it out there. I read it. I can, you know, in the in comments and comments and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, you, it's, it's emotion. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, you gotta cut, you gotta cut the emotion. Right. Yep. Um, you know? Cause it's business. It's business. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So that's how you're sabotaging, possibly sabotaging your plumbing business without even being aware. So maybe check some of those things. You know, are you living in the past or not letting go of the past? Are you not letting go of control? And, are you just taking it too personal, right? So kind of right. evaluate that. And you have a much simpler life. But again, it goes back to your why. Why do you have your plumbing business? What's the reason for your plumbing business, right? right. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very important, yep. all right? Hey, and if you're, you're listening, watching, and you're one that's looking to take your plumbing business to the next level, or you've, you've just started out and you just kind of, you know, flailing around a little bit, not sure what, what's going on. Hey, we want to help you. Okay. And we can do that by offering you a free strategy call. Mm -hmm. All right. With one of our strategic advisors. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll listen to what uh, your issues are and, and, um, we'll, here where we'll, you want to be, here where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And we'll point to what's holding you back from where you want to be mm -hmm. and then give you a plan to get to get you to where you want to be. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And it's free. Mm -hmm. All right. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call c-a-l-l -L. there we go okay all right look forward to speaking with you yeah so thanks for joining us everybody on this episode of potty talk so glad you're here all right but before we let you go as always we want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things so plumb like a champion <laughs>